Hey guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your social media marketing clients after you've signed them up. Now, I've already made a video about this on my YouTube channel, but the process has changed over the last couple of months, and loads of people have been messaging me, asking how it is that they can do it now, loads of confusion, so I wanted to iron things out on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna be running through how you can gain admin access, how you can set up your client's payment details, so you are ready to start running adverts. So this is gonna be a really simple video. We're gonna jump on the Mac for this. It's gonna be nice and quick, nice and actionable for you. So without Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's jump straight into it. So if on the off chance you're watching this video and you don't really know what this is about, this is when you sign a social media marketing client and you need to set them up. So you need to get admin access, you need to gain rights to their ad account or create a new ad account and set their payment details up on that ad account so you're ready to start running ads. So I've set up a series of screenshots for you to explain this all uh, because Facebook actually deleted my test account where I used to do demonstrations, which is frustrating and I don't wanna have to go into my business manager with all my client's confidential details in there. So. I've got a series of screenshots. Now, first of all, the first thing you wanna do is gain admin access on your personal Facebook page. Now, if you're with the client, this is really easy to set up. You can do this before the, uh, for them, um, but nine times out of 10, you're probably not gonna be with the client because you're gonna be working with them remotely. So you need to ask them to go over to their Facebook page and click the settings button up here. Once they click the settings button, they need to go over to page roles here, and then they need to assign a new page role. So you need to make sure that you are friends with your client on Facebook, so make sure you add them on Facebook. They're gonna type in your name, click this drop down here where it says editor, and they're going to click admin and then they'll hit this add button here and it's going to send you a notification to say blah 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 wants to add you to their page as an admin you click that and you accept it sometimes you don't even have to accept it facebook just randomly do those requests but you'll get a notification up here once you are an admin on your client's Facebook page, you need to add them to your business manager as well. So you need to add that page to your business manager. Now I'm not running through now how you can create a business manager account. It's very, very easy. If you're watching this, you don't have a clue how to create one. Just go over to business.facebook.com Follow the on-screen instructions. It's very, very simple. If it asks you for a website URL, just paste your Facebook profile URL in there. Now, when you've made a business manager account, you go over to your business settings and you're gonna come to this page. Click pages on the left-hand side here and hit the blue add page button right up here. Then it's gonna bring up a pop-up where we can request access to the Facebook page. So it's gonna give you three options. Make sure you always click request access to Facebook page because we're accessing a Facebook page which we don't own, it's our client's page. You're then gonna enter their page name in there and hit request access. It's then gonna transition onto this, uh, this, this separate pop-up um, and you're gonna choose what rights you need. So always make sure you hit admin access, okay? Right at the bottom here. Hit request access and your client will receive your request in, again, their settings, page roles, and uh, their, their page roles settings. So when you do that, your client needs to go back over onto page roles. Again, if you're with your client, it makes this a lot easier, or you can do this over a video chat if you want to. Again, really, really easy. It saves the confusion. You can do screen sharing on Skype or on Zoom, or just simply explain if the, the client is, is pretty confident. Just explain, go to settings, page roles, and they're gonna receive a page request here, okay? And you just click accept, okay? That's all they need to do. And then your business manager and your personal profile both have access to the page. Now the reason why you want access on both your business profile and your personal page is because it makes your life a lot easier when you're then using mobile and things like that because you, do, you don't need to have separate um, admin rights, okay? Because if your personal profile doesn't have admin rights, when you go over onto your mobile phone, you go over to the business's page, you won't be able to do things like write a post or like see their messages. So it makes it a lot more accessible for you and means you don't need to switch over to your business manager every time you want to do something on your client's page. So we've just requested access and we have got their page on our business manager. Now what we want to do is we want to make an ad account or request access to their existing ad account. Now if you're working with a client and they've already ran ads in the past, then they're already going to have an ad account and they're already gonna have some kind of knowledge with Facebook ads. So what you wanna do is you wanna ask them to go over to their business manager and get the ad account ID, okay? They're gonna be able to find it, it's in the top left corner of their, um, their 
ads page and you need to hit request access to ad account and enter that ad account ID. I'm saying ad account a lot of times. Um, and then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to gain access to their existing ad manager. If, for whatever reason, they do have an existing ad account, then you can stop watching this video because you're ready to start running ads, okay? You don't need to worry about payment details and things like that because they'll already have them set up from when they've ran ads in the past. But just make sure you check out their payment details page to make sure that their current details are, um, are still relevant. Um, so yeah, but if your client has not run ads before and the majority of the time we're gonna be working with clients which haven't run ads before, you're gonna need to click this bottom option here which is create a new ad account. So just go through the process of creating an ad account. It's very, very simple. You just need to give it a name and just hit next and literally that's gonna be done. Then that ad account will be listed on your business manager. What you then wanna do is go into the settings of that ad account by clicking this top left corner here and just hitting settings and hit payment settings. And if you're with your client, you can then get them to hit add payment method and then they can enter their card details. So if you're with your client at the time, it's a brick and mortar business, you're face to face with them, they can hit add payment method and they can enter their card details. But the majority of the time, you're not gonna be with your client, so you won't actually, they won't actually be able to access this yet because it's only you who has access to the ad account. So what we need to do is we need to give them access to the ad account. I hope you're following this, by the way, guys. I, this isn't, this is really is a simple process once you do it once or twice. So um, what you then need to do is go back over to your business settings. If you remember, we were just on pages and ad accounts. You wanna hit people up the top here and you want to click add, okay? So we need to add them to your business manager. So we wanna give them employee access, as you can see here, and we need to enter their email address. This is the email address they use for Facebook login, okay? So make sure you ask that from them. Once you do that, it's gonna bring this pop-up and it's gonna give you the ability to an assign, an a um, assign assets to your, um, your client who you're adding into your business manager. So you wanna click the Facebook page that you just added, which is their Facebook page, give them admin access, Okay, hope you can see that. So you select the Facebook page we just added, give them admin access, and then you want to go down onto ad accounts, select the ad account we just created, and again, give them admin access, because this gives them control of their finance pages, which means we can then remotely send them a link for them to enter their card details, which we're gonna go through now. So once you've done that, you need to go back over to the payment settings on the ad account, and you want to send them this URL. So click that URL, copy it, and paste it over to them, and then they will be able to access this page, okay? They'll be able to access this page, click add payment method, and you're good to go. And that is literally how you get your client set up and you are ready to start creating ads for them. Now, my best advice is that you jump on a Skype or a Zoom call with your client and you go through this whole process with them. If you're setting them up remotely, it's gonna save any headaches. It'll only take you about five to 10 minutes to actually go through it with them. You'll be able to screen share, so you'll be able to see exactly as what they're doing, so you know if they're doing something wrong. And as I said, once you do this once or twice, it really is an easy process, but I don't know why Facebook have changed the way you do this. It was a lot simpler before. It is a, it is a chore, but it's our job as marketers and entrepreneurs to adapt and to, uh, to, to follow the rules, okay? So this is the way you have to do it now. This works every single time. If you get stuck at any point, make sure you just watch this video back and look at the step that you're stuck at, and I promise you, you'll be able to overcome it. If for whatever reason there is an issue that I haven't covered here, please do leave it in the comments below this video and share this with somebody who you've seen getting frustrated with this because I know I've seen a lot of people recently who have been getting stuck on this. Um, but yeah, once you do this once or twice, it's gonna be easy. That's literally how you can set up the client after you've signed them up. So you are ready to have all the rights and start running ads for them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any video ideas for next week, please do let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed and with your notification bells turned on as well, if you haven't got your notifications on, you're missing out because you're not getting my content as and when it comes out. And I'll be back again with another video um, next week. Cheers, guys.